and, and I guess, you know, I, I would have loved to have had some little support in that too. Yeah. And now I'm also just left with, well, her father left, now I'm leaving, you know, so, you know. So, so you, you, you are, there's a little bit of torness inside of you because right. you, care, you care for her so much. Mm -hmm. I do, I really do, yeah. Mm. Is there anything, I, yeah, go ahead. No, and as you said that, and then I took a breath, I started to feel some care for myself come back into the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, hey, I'm not so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you want to honor yourself. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. uh, in the midst of all that's happening, you really yeah. want to stay true to, to what would be nourishing for you. Right, and there was this, a, a little slimmer of trust that I trusted what I wanted was all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you, do you feel a little, so, a little more solid inside mm -hmm, yourself? Mm -hmm. I do. Are you game for doing an excursion with me right now? Before we're not okay, not quite him. ready. Not, yeah, not quite ready. Him, yeah. Not we're not ready quite to talk okay. to dad. But maybe you are ready to try to understand dad inside yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you have a sense of what's important to him? Well, he's always been one that family is really, really important and to do the right thing. So that he, he really, I think, and he was upset with the divorce. And so I think that, that he really is coming from a place of that family should be together and take care of each other and that he loves his granddaughter. So there is a, a, um, a, a deep core sense of love and caring that mm -hmm. is infusing his action. Mm -hmm. Isn't that tragic that in the name of love and care, he speaks to you in a way that you end up feeling shame? Mm -hmm. I bet anything that's not what he wants. No. Let me check with him to see if I'm, okay. if I'm right on or off. Is it true? Um, yes, I'm not trying to create shame. I just am trying to make sure that, you know, she thinks carefully about the choices that she's making and looks after our granddaughter. Yeah. So, yeah. So, at the heart of this is care for your daughter that you also mm -hmm. care about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. So, I'm wondering if you, you may or may not be ready to face him. Well, he's my dad. I think so. I just want to say before you face him that sometimes it, it might take more than just a few minutes mm -hmm. of reflection to be ready to face mm -hmm. someone. Mm -hmm. uh, but in this case, we got to the bottom of it well enough and you kind of like have space that you're willing to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take it from the moment when he is saying all the things that he said, not all the way to the beginning. Just when you say it's not appropriate. Yeah, it's not appropriate. Um, she. You know, it's not something that we ever did with you when you were five years old. I really, I think you need to reconsider. Hmm. So, Dad, you know, I know how much you love Dorothy, and I'm guessing that your 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 that's where your concern is that by my going away, that it wouldn't be good for her. Right. She's just she's just had the her parents break up. I know. And now, uh, not long afterwards, you leaving her alone. Yeah, so you really want her to be well and to be safe. Yeah. 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 And I want you to be looking after her. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I know how much I love Dorothy. And I'm imagining that, you know, I'll just say this, you know, that, that you also, I'm your daughter and love me a lot too. Of course. That, yeah. Of course. Yeah. And um, I just, I just want to check uh, uh, for a moment mm -hmm. uh, with Dad to see. I, I'm wondering how it is for you to have her respond to you in this way. I'm pretty, I'm pretty calm at the moment. As it doesn't feel like a fight or anything. And, Whereas uh, before it did. Well, I was a little bit upset before, yeah. and now I'm less so. Mm -hmm. And, and my sense is he might not be ready quite mm. to hear you. Mm -hmm. 
And that's part of, of what the challenge of a situation like this is, that you have so much to work through inside of you, and he has so much to work through, and you need to be strong enough to meet him where he is, mm -hmm. to bring, to bring the two of you to connection, mm -hmm. because he didn't have the privilege of getting somebody to sit with him and offer him empathy like I did mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. So it might be harder for him mm -hmm. to come to a place of mm -hmm. connection and softness. Yeah, clear. Is there anything you'd like to say before we close? Um, no, I guess just that it's a shame that I don't have to have someone who gives me lots of empathy. Yes. And it's a shame that I don't know to ask for it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that even with this tough veneer, the need is still there. Mm -hmm. And that's a really fabulous tip for you to remember when mm -hmm. you talk with him next. Mm -hmm that the tough veneer, underneath it, there is a human being with a soft heart just mm -hmm. like you. Mm -hmm. But you won't show it. Not this evening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. And is there anything else you want to say before we close this? No, no, it was satisfying. Okay, so I want to kind of like look at uh, the show as a whole. What stands out to you? What are some of the things, we're coming to the end, what are some of the things that stand out to you uh, that you, you'd like to kind of like encapsulate that we did today that were meaningful to you? I enjoyed that we had a, a call of bringing in an inner conflict and seeing how that can be worked with two people playing the two sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and um, I'm just, I still just marvel at the ability to have a connection and how quickly things can shift. Mm -hmm. And that um, left with, what really struck me was when you said I wasn't, he, perhaps he wasn't ready to connect, but I, I, I just feeling the love from him mm -hmm. without him saying anything, that, that the, opening up that kind of conversation just mm -hmm. allows so much to come through that's surprising mm -hmm. that you don't even need words sometimes mm -hmm. and for me what stands out to me is a, a, a little similar to what you said how sometimes a situation that can appear so volatile mm -hmm. one line one line of being willing to hear the other person instead of reacting can completely drain the charge from it mm -hmm. So uh, thank you very much. And I want to express uh, gratitude to our caller, Liz, for uh, bringing something in the moment and real to us. And I want to uh, express, again, gratitude to uh, Newt, Ellen, and Sabina, um, and to the cast, uh, to the crew. And um, if uh, you are interested in learning more about this, there is plenty of opportunities that you can have. Uh, you can go check our website. Uh, we have uh, offerings all over uh, different places in the world. And um, if you are far away, you can also check the NVC Academy, where you can learn online. And uh, we love to get feedback from you. Um, and we also love to get scenarios and situations. We use them and incorporate them into the scenarios that uh, we play out. And either one you can send to conflict hotline at baynvc.org. And um, again, I am uh, grateful for your willingness to play, to do whatever it takes to make this show work. And for the all volunteer crew, for uh, coming here month after month to do this so that uh, all of you can view this. And uh, we'll be with you again next month on December 3rd at 7.30. Goodbye, good night. <laughs>